I once walked into a car dealership and there was a Lamborghini and there was a Ferrari. And I looked at the Lamborghini and the Ferrari and I couldn't decide which car to buy. So I bought both of them. I bought the red Ferrari and the yellow Lamborghini. And now I don't even have matching shoelaces and I don't give a shit. My name is Tim Ward. My nickname is Sharky. Why are the street dogs such a big part of my life? It's because they need someone and they have chosen me to represent them. And now that's what I feel my purpose is to represent them and to, to bring attention to them because they can't speak. They don't have 200,000 followers on Facebook. They can't come out and speak and say, hey, we need your help, but I can. Well, usually the pups get run over because they just don't have any street sense you know they like I, I seen one run over in the driveway out there it was completely squashed i was going to move it but i thought no i'll leave it just so people can see and maybe it's dead anyway so moving it wasn't going to help it so i left it there so people would see and hopefully it make them sense some kind of remorse to what what actually happens to these things you know what it actually happens to these little guys do I think animals are treated bad? Yes. Now down the beach here in Patea, there are hundreds of hookers selling their pussy on the beach. I have actually had hookers say to me, Sokopop, when I walk with the dog, which is dirty. You're dirty, you're walking with a dog, you know? It's like, hey bitch, I'm not sucking cock for a living, you know? Uh, sure, I walk with a dog and I feed with a dog. You're sucking cock for a living, but they don't get that. They look at the dogs as being dirty creatures, you know, are probably the lowest form of life. It's a cultural thing and that really has to change. What advice would I give to a man coming to Patea to find love? I, I don't really believe there is any love. What I say to people is I will line a hundred cocks up and you suck every cock and then you tell me if you're normal once you get to the hundredth one. You know, you, you're fucked up and these girls are fucked up. And you know, as, as much as I like them and as much fun as they are, there's no love there. There's no love. They've been doing this for so long that love is you looking after me and looking after my family. It's a tragedy and they're a tragedy, but I'm a tragedy. You know, everything here is a fuck up and I'm a fuck up. So that's why I think I get on so well with them because I don't bullshit them and they don't bullshit me. So we have a pretty good relationship because we don't even talk about love. It doesn't even get to that. You know, we can, I could spend two weeks with the same girl and love won't even come into it because we're both on the same page. We know where we are. So if you're coming here looking for love, I think you're gonna be bitterly disappointed. You cannot make a hoe a housewife and you, you shouldn't even try. Just appreciate her for being a hoe and enjoy a good hoe. Good hoes are fun. Nothing beats a good hoe. I think a good hoe is better than a housewife. <laughs> so just enjoy a good hoe and don't try and change her and don't try and make her something she's not. Yeah, I see you. I see you in your office. <laughs> is there any benefit in moving to Patea? Hell yes. I love my life. I love my relationship with my girls. There is, for the first time in my life, there is no jealousy. When we're together, we have we have the best time. As much fun as I've ever had with any girlfriend, for the first time in my life, I'm free. I actually find it's better if my Thai girls have boyfriends because the boyfriends can do all the hard work and then the girls come over and see me and I get the best of it. I call them anger fucks. When the girls get angry with their boyfriends, the girls fucking say, I want to come over and see you. I just want to come over and hang out. You've got some beer in the fridge. And I'm like, hell yeah, come over. I've got beer in the fridge. I've got food in the fridge. And the girl will come over and I will get an anger fuck. That's a better fuck than the boyfriend's ever getting. She'll come over. She'll fuck me in a fit of rage. She'll drink a few beers. She'll eat some food and she'll go home. 
back to this poor sorry sap who's telling her he loves her but I will never tell her I love her because I don't love her and she doesn't love me but the relationship is perfect the relationship that we have is perfect I have one dog who I've been feeding every day for eight years to have survived this long in this town is something special and I look at him like he's kind of my spiritual being in a dog you know it's survival and it's a it's a lack of trust towards people and I see myself in him if he's with me he feels as though he has to protect me which is annoying because I can't meet girls because even if a girl comes up now he'll he'll just go her he'll bite her I'm, I'm really close to him and you know he's he's not the happiest dog in the world and I'm probably not the happiest person in the world, but he's a survivor. What is Patea for me now? Patea is a place where I wanna see something started. I wanna see something started to help the animals. You know, I can't leave here until I know someone is looking after the street dogs. And that's my, my footprint on this place wants to be something that is helping the animals and I, I guess I'm stuck here until that comes along.